while it's probably not a, a huge likely thing, there is always the chance that this vacuum line going to your ECU either sucks up nitrous or fuel if you spray too much. Welcome back to Horseplay Motoring. So if you've been subscribed to my channel for any bit of time, you know I'm a huge Nitrous Express fanatic. I love Nitrous. Um, I love the company. It's the only company I'll go with. I am um, just super excited to be partnered with them and them to be supporters of the channel. As many of y'all may know, my uh, 90 Fox Body LX right here is on Terminator X. And I was talking with my tuner. Um, although I don't plan on going turbo or boost anytime soon, I asked them if I could benefit from having the three bar map sensor hooked up that I've already had that came with the car. And he said, well, it's probably not a, a huge likely thing. There is always the chance that this vacuum line going to your ECU either sucks up nitrous or fuel if you spray too much and it can get sucked up in the system. What does that mean? That means it's going to make it to your ECU and you stand a chance of ruining your Terminator X ECU. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one up. You can mount this on the firewall and just run the same line just over to this. Um, nothing crazy. Um, you got to change the parameter in the computer that this is a Holly. Um, hello, don't go away. This is the Holly 554107. So, there's two things that you can do. It's got this clip that comes with it, and all that's different is these slots are at different locations. So, if you look in here on this plug, you see there's a slot on this side, a slot on this side, and nothing in the middle. But if you look in the plug right here for the Holly unit, there's one on this side and one in the middle. So, you can either switch out this plug and pin it or you can just take a razor which is what I'm going to attempt first if I mess it up I have a plug but I'm going to attempt to just cut the sections out so I need to cut right here on this one so it would go in this way so this side right here and then the bottom middle of this one so I'm going to attempt that and see if I can get that to plug in there and then we'll be on our way all right so I cut a little V in it, ran it down to the same over there. All I did was took this torch, got the tip of this knife hot, and ran it down. And as I ran it down, I kind of just kind of wiggled it back and forth to make it a little bit wider. Took some sandpaper, and let's see if it plugs in now. And it plugs in. So now you don't have to repin it. You don't have to do anything else. So now, as far as wiring... Now I can hook it up over there around the vacuum line. And uh, if nitrous or something is introduced to the system, I have to replace a $60 to $100 sensor versus um, a, I don't know, what is it now, $1,500 ECU. All right, I used a factory hole. Just mounted it there. I closed the hood, make sure everything clears. Now I can run this hose. This is what I had for the vacuum um, somewhere. And uh, I can take that and put it here instead of going all the way over there where I did. Uh, I had forgot on my setup that this uh, vacuum line actually runs to the bottom of the intake. So I had the best possible clean source. Wasn't coming off a vacuum tree. Um, so it's a lot cleaner and faster response. So uh, it is going to go from there to here. And that's where it's going to terminate and be done. And there it is. Now, one of the things I did do while I was in the process of doing this is I pulled out my fuel pressure plug because I'm going to have a um, fuel pressure sensor going here so the Holly could control if the um, fuel pressure drops too low, then the Holly can cut the nitrous. So I will have a setup here. I do have, I do have that right here. I did kind of mess up that fitting a little. I don't have an AN, but it's all good. So I've ran this kind of over and went this way so it's just not as much over the heat of the headers um i went ahead and plugged it straight in um hopefully me and the tuner 
can uh, figure out the uh, sensor scaling on that and the oil pressure. But now I get to get all this tidied up. All right, so got it all bundled together, got it splitting off up here out of the way, and then I got it ran under and it splits off here, comes over. Um, pretty happy with that at the moment until I can figure out something better. But uh, yeah, that's that's uh, going to be it for this. Now, when you go into your settings and go to map sensor, um, the Holly three bar fifty five or yeah fifty five four one zero seven. Um, that is in the drop down menu, so you shouldn't have an issue with any of that. My tuner recommended this. Um, I'm gonna leave a link in the description, okay? Uh, Mike Pine, Mike Pine, Pine Top Tuning has went above and beyond for me. He is just any time, day or night, I've had an issue, he has been there for me. Now, I'm not saying by all means, I'm not saying go out and bug him all throughout the day and night and stuff like that. This is his business. This is not a free endeavor, but um, he is so good that uh, Leach Motorsports decided they're not doing Fox Bodies anymore, and Anderson said, great, we'll pick up Mike Pine. So he's good if Anderson Motorsports picks him up, and like I said, he has worked with me every step of the way on this car, and he has been phenomenal, and that's Pine Top Tuning. I'll leave a link in the description. Amazing, amazing tuner when it comes to these Fox Bodies and Terminator X, and I'm sure he can do a lot more. So there it is, guys. Um, I didn't see a lot of information about that, and I didn't I didn't think anything about I had a three bar setting around. I didn't think it'd be beneficial because I'm not running boost at the moment, and I figured, you know, I would probably not use it. Mike said I could still use it, still be skilled for this. And uh so I went online, started doing my research. Everybody said you gotta rewire it, you gotta repin it, you gotta so I just Started doing my research, and it turns out all you got to do is cut them slots in. It'll go in. All the connectors are where they need to be. You won't have to rewire it. And like Mike told me, it's in the drop-down menu when you select map sensor. So everything should be good to go. So hopefully this helps somebody where they don't have to guess on the wiring or the pinning or anything else. Because everything I've seen is, oh, we got it plugged in. And it's like, well, what did you do? So hopefully this helps. This is Horseplay. Thanks for watching. And uh, on to the next endeavor. Turn around, I done made it this far Look back now, that would be too smart Shoot for the stars even when it gets hard Put my faith in the Lord with the 60 bars I won't turn around, I done made it this far Look back now, that would be too smart Shoot for the stars even when it gets hard Put my faith in the Lord with the 60 bars I won't turn around I won't, I won't turn around